Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do probably the most requested video ever, and this is my collection and how I store it. Now, as you can tell, I'm standing at the doorway of my walk-in closet, and this is where most of my stuff lives. <laughs> and I'm just going to do an overview today. I do want to start off by saying that in no way am I trying to brag about my nail polish collection. I've just had a lot of people ask to see this, so I thought I would go ahead and do it. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm going to do some more talking about collecting and collections and that sort of thing. But I'm going to walk on in here real quick. I've got six of the huge acrylic racks, and they're practically full. Um, there's a little bit of space right there, kind of towards the middle. And then down towards the bottom, I've got like one whole shelf that's empty and another one. But after saying that, I want to show you. <laughs> See these buckets down here in the floor? These three on the right, I mean, I'm sorry, on the left. <laughs> Get your stuff together, Tina. These are polishes that I've hauled and showed and talked about but have not worn yet. So they're sitting in tubs. And <laughs> this is how I choose what polish I'm going to wear next. I go to these tubs, and I look through it, and I try to find something that I haven't worn yet. And then this other little tub to the right is my box of stuff I need to show or record or talk about, items that have been sent re for review or haul stuff. So that's that. I'm going to turn just a little bit more. And these are my three Helmers. Before we get to them, I'll show you on top of the Helmers. I have some pink felt here that I'm going to be, um, this right here, I'm going to be making liners for my Helmer drawers down here because the stuff I have in there is not good for the bottoms of the bottles. Then this box that says Jake is like all top coats and base coats. Then next to it we have my nail dryer and a whole bunch of extra nail files. We have a tub of pop sticks that need to be organized into the pop stick box down here. They have not been sorted and, and put in there yet. And then under that pop stick thing are all my minis. Well, most of my minis. This is my to-go box. Like if I'm going to a family function or over to a friend's house to play nails, I just grab that because with all the minis I have a lot of you know, colors that we can use. So I pretty much have any color they could want in there. So then we're gonna, I'm going to slide over before we hit the homers. I'm going to show you this other little box. That box is box a box of stuff that I have worn or used, and it needs to be organized into the collection. It needs to find a home. But right now I need to do some organizing, and you will see this here in just a minute, um, to make room for these. So... Now, on to the fun stuff. These are my three Helmers. And I'm going to redo the camera positioning so that we can, you know, see these better. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have opened the first drawer on the first Helmer. These are all either boutique or indie brands like Floss Gloss and Sweet and Sour Lacquer. Um, Elamasca, you know, maybe some of the higher name stuff or stuff I don't own very much of, but um, it's just full of indies, and as you can see, I really do need to do some serious organizing. We've got Dollish Polish, we've got, you know, um, Taco, we've, I mean, it's just, it's a little out of control, and I can't go through, I would be here all day if I went through all the polishes, but these are in indies, and, you know, I've got some Moonshine Manny in there, and I did have them all organized by kind of brands, but some brands I don't own very many of, so they just kind of all fell into a drawer together, so that is that drawer. See my little Mickey Mouse pants? <laughs> so next we've got another drawer. Now this one looks a little bit neater. And these are um, mostly my KB Shimmers. Um, I've got the Birthstone collection. And then I've got some Native War paints in here. These are like all my round bottles. I guess that's kind of how um, I organized them originally. Was You know, I did round bottles in one drawer and square bottles. But now the collection has exploded. I've got more floss gloss in here. 
um, and things just started getting shoved into just wherever it would fit. So here's another box of indies. I got Starly in here, um, some diff different dimension, and uh, my one and only Baroness X. You know, so just it's just a, it's just a mess, and I really didn't want to show this to y'all until I was all really organized. This third drawer on this first Helmer is also indies and um, a lot of colors by LaRoe. Um, these aren't really indies, Dance Legend. I think they're more just, they're in here because they're hard to get. And I do boutiques, hard to get, indies, you know, anything that's sold like in another country that I, I have trouble getting a hold of will end up with my indies because that's how I... That's just how my brain works. I've got an old Rescue Beauty Lounge in here. I just, it's just a mix, you know. I love nail polish and, you know, my few A Englands I used to have. I have more now, but they need to be reorganized. So that's more indies. And then we get down to the next door. Now we're getting into some mainstream. And these are like all, you know, Sally Hansen. You've got the extreme wear, the foils. You know, the satins, um, the, you know, Salon Perfect, uh, Salon Manicure ones, some of the old bottles of, the, you know, the Lacquer Shines, and just, if it's Sally Hansen, it, it lives in here with, you know, the Sally Hansen polishes. So, a bunch of different kinds of bottles. I've even got the, um, you know, the Insta Dries, and so that's that drawer. The next drawer is mostly Wet n Wild and um, Avon, my one Morgan Taylor, um, Salon Perfect, Funky Fingers, um, or not Funky Fingers, yeah, Funky Fingers and Finger Paints, and, you know, just odds and ends, NYC, you know, different, different stuff from that one. And then the bottom drawer on this first Helmer is full of uh, Maybelline, Revlon, um, Milani, oh, what were these? These are LA Girls, um, L'Oreal, Pure Ice, some Revlon, you know, perfumery ones. Um, and you see this drawer needs some love too because now I'm just kind of laying stuff in here that don't even fit. So, um, that's that last drawer. And I'm going to move the camera down and we'll go through the second Helmer. Alrighty, we're on the second Helmer, and this is the first drawer, and this is some color clubs. This drawer is not full. There's quite a bit of room still left to put some other polishes. Um, but these are my Halo Hues, my Oil Slicks, and my Mood Changing Polishes, my Color Changing Polishes from Color Club. And then the next drawer is almost totally full of just regular color clubs, the White Cat Bottles and also the older black cat bottles. So we have quite a bit of color club. We love us some color club. And then the next drawer, the third drawer, is not full either. Um, it holds my Catherine Arley's. Catherine Arley was a brand, I don't know if they're making them anymore. I don't know, I haven't looked. Um, but these were some of the first hollows I ever got hooked on. And they don't have names, they just have numbers and I had to print numbers to know what they were. And then all of my jade polishes, which are no longer being made. I also have some um, ruby wings, which is made by Color Club. And then I have my three chameleon polishes. And these were from Born Pretty. I've never tried them. This was supposed to be like the chrome nail set thing that you did. You, I don't remember even how to do it, so to do that I'm going to have to really work. These don't belong in here. These are Illamites. These belong in the indie drawer. But I guess they're okay because they're with some other indie-esque kind of things. Let me pull this drawer out a little bit more. And if you do own Helmers, you know you've got to support these things. They're not just, they're not made really, really well. I have my one Mark Jacobs in there. And then my Juleps. I used to be a Julep Maven and get these, but I, you know, I had to stop that. I don't like the bottles. I don't like the tall skinny bottles with the long wands, but I do like the polishes. And my Better London's. And let's see if there's anything else in there. Nope. Just Julep, some Butter London. So there's a little bitty bit of room in this one, too. So. Uh, 
one. We're going to close the third drawer and go down to the fourth drawer. This is all sinful colors. There's, and I'm, I need another drawer for sinful colors because I've got a whole bunch over here in this bucket that I showed you that needs to find a home that have been worn. But these are Simple Colors. Simple Colors is a great brand, and that is why I have so many of them. They're affordable. They're easy to get for me. So there's that fourth drawer, totally full. And then my next drawer is my Essies, which are down here. And then my, at the top is my Orleys. Sorry about the noise. But my Essies are up here, and my Orleys are in the back. Once I put my felt in here, these will quit sliding around and, um, you know, it'll be easier to, to find stuff, I think. So that's that drawer. And the last drawer is like my special effects. These are all my magnetics from Navi. I've done a video on them if you would like to go see that. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box, but I went through and showed swatches of all the different magnetics I have from them, and then I also have, you know, three or four crackles from them, and then in this drawer is also my Bundle Monster, Bundle Monster crackle polishes. I bought a set of them, it was like two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe twelve of them, and then I have my one lone little Wet n Wild Fergie polish. She is so settled. But this was stars, and I got this one just so I could pull the stars out and use them in manicures. Hoo wee! All right, that is Helmer number two. I'm going to move the camera again, and we're going to hit Helmer number three. All right, the first tray on Helmer number three. These are all my Julie G polishes up here at the front. And then I have some CoverGirl polishes. And then my collection of Eliana's collection polishes. I love her polishes. They're in here also. And then I have a whole bunch of the American Apparel polishes. And as you can see, a lot of these need some shaking up. And I have my new bar in here. And, you know, just kind of like odds and ends ones ended up in here. You know, um, I got the Nana Cocos. And I have these old mood changing polishes from Mia Secret. So they live in that drawer. And then the next drawer is one of my favorites. It is my, um, all of these up here. Let's see if I can make this neater looking real quick. Um, these are my super chic, super chic lacquer all up here, these silver cap ones. And then behind those are my collection of the look polishes. I love them too. So there's a little bit more room in here for some more. And I like how these fit in here. They just fit in here perfect. It's so nice and neat and tidy. And then we're going to head on to drawer number three. Now, drawer number three is almost totally full. There's room for maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six more of these bottles. Maybe seven, I don't know, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This is my Square Hue box, because I was a member of their subscription service for two years. Plus, I bought some extras off of Friends and D-Stashes. So, I do have quite a bit of the Square Hue polishes. Um, they're no longer doing their subscription, so when I add to this part of my collection, I'll just be going and picking out my own colors. So, there's that drawer. And now, these are drawers that will probably change in the future as I try to find room for um, other polishes. But this is my gel polish drawer. I have all my little gel polishes and top coats and my, you know, gel polish thinner and my, my UV LED light. So this is like, I pull this drawer out when friends come over and they want gel nails because I don't hardly ever do them. And this drawer is just got some of my markers, you know, my Sharpies and nail decorating markers. These are extra little tips for that little paint mixer. And then I've got some foils in here, um, just, you know, in the little, these are the ones that came in the little, like, film canister size containers. And then my last drawer on this Helmer is notes and cards and things from friends and YouTube buddies and 
and I hang on to those and then like I've got a lot of cards business cards from different companies I've bought from and little odds and ends I've got stuff from Beauty Big Bang these are just this is like my nail decoration drawer it's got the chrome powder and you know little trinkets that you could put on accent nails and this is my um stuff I've never used it was for nail sculpting you know like making little flowers and then I've also got some you know glitters and nail foils and other little studs and water decals loads and loads of water decals and let me move my leg so we can get back here this is a lot of nail wheels and um, striping tape and water decals down in this little tub. Now I'm going to take you to one more place that I have nail stuff. It's out by my nail table, which is in my living room right now. One day I will get to be a big girl and have a mani cave, and all of this stuff will be in my mani cave. So I'm going to push pause and head out to show you my stamping stuff. Alrighty, I am back. I'm out by my nail station, and I have this like traveling cosmetics box that my mom got me. It's made by OPI, and this is where I keep most of my stamping stuff. I can't say all of it, so I'm going to open the top. Okay, so here we go. Um, after you open it up, there's a big zipper pocket, and that's where I keep like extra stampers that are still in the packaging um, and things like that. And then here we go. I'm going to come up this way. And you can see I've got stamping books that hold stamping plates. And I've got a box that has some stamping plates and more stamp. These are all stamping plates. And then over here is stamping plates that need to be put away. And these two boxes are stampers, just random stampers that I use. And then in the back here are my clean color polishes that I use for stamping quite often. Okay, so here's down in the little pocket. I have stampers that are still in their bags or their boxes. And I also have some of these like medicine holders or jewelry holders from the Dollar Tree that hold extra stamping heads. And there's one more thing in here. This is that little mixer, the little ink mixer that you can use to mix polish up with. There we go, got that, oh, sorry, got that taken care of. And then down here in the bottom, there's a drawer, and this is where I keep my stamping polishes. I've got the funky fingers, and then I've got all my Born Pretty stamping polishes. And then in here, I've got the minis from MDU. I have a tray of them, and then more down in the bottom. And here are some new acquisitions. We've got the Beauty Big Bang ones. And then my Brave Steva black stamping polish that I just got. And then over here we have Bundle Monster stamping polishes. Um, and then I have one Conad and a couple of Queens and some Pin Pan or Pin Pay. You know, just different stamping polishes. Now these are not stamping polishes, but that's what I use these for. Um, so they live in here with my other stamping polishes. I also have my Silver Mercedes by Pure Ice. And normally my Bold Gold is also in here. You know, my Maybelline, I use it all the time, so it's sitting out on my desk. And then I have all of my Nicole Diary stamping polishes also in here. So that is it for the tour. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my collection. Um, it's quite a wreck, um, but I kept putting it off and putting it off. And my friend Angela here on YouTube, she just <laughs> she just kept asking. And I thought, well, let's do it now. And then when I do get my Manny Cave and have everything arranged the way, you know, my dream way, then you will get to see, you know, the change and the difference. Um, but after showing my collection, I do have an announcement. We are going to be doing some, I, not we, I'm going to be doing some different stuff on my channel. Um, I'm placing myself on a hard no-buy. And this is going to be really par hard because 
I'm addicted to polish. I love buying polish, but I buy it faster than I can wear it, and um, my collection is just out of control. I don't want to get rid of anything. I want to wear it all. I want to make myself use it. So I'm going to take um, Jody from Jody's Polish. I'm going to take something that she does, and I'm going to put that on my channel. I'm going to be doing shopping my stash. Um, you saw my tubs of polishes, and that's just the ones that have come into my life in the past um, few months. Those, that's what's in those tubs. I've got polishes that made it into the collection organization that never got worn. So I'm going to be going through my collection and um, marking the ones that I've worn and uh, making sure to pull out the ones I haven't worn. And we're going to try to use those. So I might be pulling out polishes that are super old. I mean like crazy old. And um, maybe you've got it in your collection and you would like to pull that out. Um, I, sorry, I'm messing with polish. It's a, it's a thing. So um, I am going to maybe back off on some videos. I, I know I've been posting like one a day every day for the past like seven months or something. I'm, I might get a little more you know, um, into a routine. I'm thinking about doing something like manic, uh, Mainstream Mondays, where I always use a Mainstream Polish. Um, Water Marble Wednesdays, Wednesdays would be one I would like to do, because Water Marbling is really get what got me into being a nail junkie anyway. So I would like to make myself do those more often. And then um, Fandom Fridays, which is any, you know, like nail art for Harry Potter or using a polish from a collection that's a fandom thing, like Friends or um, the Golden Girls or, you know, any anything that has to do with any kind of fandom thing. Um, we're going to work on it and see. Um, I do have a lot of videos already recorded. I've got some, and I told you about my hard no buy. Um, I do have some polishes that have come in. I have Christmas presents that I got that I never showed, and you know, I've got, I think I've got one or two more orders that are still on their way to me, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna work on this. And I'm not the only one. Um, this actually got really deep in my head because of Zenora um, and Claire Gray. They, Claire turned me on to Zenora's video, so I watched Claire's first, and then I went and watched Zenora's, but Zenora really kind of started this, and it went from Zenora to Claire, and now I'm, I'm going to jump on this bandwagon, too, because, you know, y'all saw my collection. There's really nothing I need, <laughs> but there are things I still want. Now, I will say off the front that if somebody comes out with a Harry Potter collection, I have to have it. Or if there's something super limited edition or something like that, I'll probably, you know, buy that. But as far as just running out and buying stuff, I'm going to try to work on that. <laughs> so, with that being said, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And apologize for the no makeup. I am clean. I just don't have on any makeup. But I didn't want to wait till I felt like putting on makeup to do this. So thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.